Syrian authorities may have been using tanks and troops against protesters for months. But the UN still can't agree on what to do about it. China and Russia vetoed a Security Council resolution demanding Damascus immediately halt its military crackdown against civilians, even though the measure was watered down to take the word sanctions out. It was the country's first double veto in more than three years. The draft resolution has not been adopted. Russian Ambassador Vitaly Churkin told the council after the vote his country did not support the Assad regime or the violence, but opposed the measure because it was based on a philosophy of confrontation. We cannot agree with this unilateral accusatory bent against Damascus. We believe it unacceptable, the threat of the ultimatum of sanctions against the Syrian authorities. This approach is against the principle of a peaceful settlement of a crisis on the basis of a full Syrian national dialogue. French Ambassador Gérard Arrault said the veto goes against the tide of history in the region and vowed to press ahead. This veto will not stop us. No veto can give carte blanche to the Syrian parties who have lost full legitimacy in assassinating and killing their people. Several countries have said they'll keep pushing to slap sanctions on Syria for its crackdown against protesters despite the latest Security Council setback. According to UN estimates, more than 2,700 people have been killed since the unrest began. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.